Konnichiwa, Konnichiwa, martial arts fans. Welcome to the demonstration of Shorinji Kempo from the British Shorinji Kempo Federation. So we're here to show you today half an hour of action-packed insight into this beautiful, dynamic, powerful martial art. Shorinji Kempo is a unique blend of three very important things to help people lead better lives, have fun, and hopefully learn a really useful skill. So we're learning self-defense, we're learning also to have a healthy body, and also a healthy mind, so mental and spiritual development. We have many techniques in our martial art, it's very, very diverse. So we include striking techniques, we call hard techniques, boho, soft techniques, uh, so grabbing and escaping, throwing and pinning, grappling if you will. And also we include techniques for healing. So we have a system quite like shiatsu, which we use to heal training injuries or indeed uh, other people who may need our help. Simple aches and pains, headaches and the like. On top of that, we also have an active syllabus of philosophy. So we don't just believe in fighting, but we also like to think about what we do and to consider the morals and the ethics of our practice and of how to lead a good life in general. This is based on our Zen philosophy, although we're not actually a, a Buddhist activity, but uh, the philosophy comes from Zen Buddhism. And you'll see now Kenshi, the students of Kempo are meditating. This is something we do every class for a few minutes just to gather our energy and calm ourselves ready for more training following that. So I hope that you will enjoy this demonstration and see with us what an interesting martial art this is. Our techniques are both scientific and entirely ethical. It's a challenging and difficult study but also one that's incredibly rewarding and we hope fun. So we'll hope find this fascinating and if you have any questions please ask any of us in the white pajamas as we're circulating take a leaf please and uh, we'll be happy to tell you more So the first thing we're going to show you is a kata, which is a set demonstration. But this will be a group kata, so a group of students will practice, uh, will perform set moves together in perfect harmony. techniques that make up our style. Um, these will include both what we call hard techniques, so that's striking, kicks and punches, blocking and rolling. And then we'll have also some of our soft techniques and some indeed mix both hard and soft. But first of all for the hard techniques we have demonstrating Mizuno Sensei, this is our chief instructor, 8th Dan Sehanshi, and 
one of our senior students. First technique, they will do it slowly to show you what the attack is. So, a combination punch, three punches, one, two, three, and then a defense. Now full speed. You'll notice as well that after the initial defense, the, the defender follows on. We call this Ren Hanker, which means following on the attack. The next technique is going to be a roundhouse kick to the head. Sambolke Namigash. After the block, the defender will then kick back. One time for the space Dodge it. And then the last in this sequence, another roundhouse kick, this time to the body from the other side. Get Angaich. The next techniques that we're going to see are going to be soft techniques. Again, we're going to start with something very simple, just a grab and an escape. We'll move on to more complicated things. First grab is to the inside of the wrist, Hotenuki. Defender doesn't let the first grab happen for the second time, counterattacks, having escaped. You'll see as well we have some very effective, as I said, ethical methods for dealing with an opponent. Um, in this case, the flick to the eyes can be extremely uh, powerful but not cause damage. In this case, defender counterattacks precisely to pressure points. Rather than trying to damage their opponent, they're simply trying to immobilize them and stop them doing anything else. The next technique is follows on from this very naturally. Instead of releasing, the defender will trap the wrist for gyakukote. Trap the wrist, and then the opponent can be thrown. The movement is the same for the escape, but just now the, the opponent can be thrown and controlled while on the ground. One more time. And on the ground they can be pinned. And dispatched. Next, the grab to the sleeve of the upper arm. Jo Hakudori. case again, the simplest thing is just to escape. So a very simple technique, but also extremely useful. Again, following on from this, instead of just an escape, you can turn it into a takedown, Jo Hakudori. So the attacker's wrist can be manipulated into a painful position, but again, one that does not cause injury, and they can be easily subdued. These techniques, of course, are very effective, and they work for men and women, large and small, old and young. They're based on scientific principles and also the ideas of uh, pressure points are the same that we use in our healing system. Jump. Right. And then the last set of techniques are the ones that combine the hard and the soft. So these go from a strike into a trap and a throw, typically, or sometimes a takedown. The first one of which, Kote Nage, starts from a punch to the middle area, to the stomach. This combination of hard and soft is one of the very distinctive features of Shirinji Kempo. The next attack will be from an overhead attack, perhaps with a weapon, it could be a stick, Brick for an empty hand. Again, the attack is blocked and the opponent is subdued and then thrown. The last attack involves a grab to the sleeve and an attempt at a sweep on the front leg. In this case, just by a careful movement, with really not too much pain in this case, the opponent is forced to lose their balance, and then they can be easily thrown. The techniques of Shirinji Kempo really don't rely on strength, 
but a very accurate and scientific understanding of the way the body works, of the mechanics of the balance. Thank you very much. So next, we're going to see what we call an embu. An embu is a demonstration that is a series of choreographed techniques worked out between two partners, sometimes more, in this case two, over a long period of time. So the two guys we're going to see today have been practicing together actually over a period of years to really refine and perfect the techniques that they're going to show you today. These are linked together in a very fluid, dynamic way to really uh, showcase these techniques at the limit of what is possible because some of these techniques are of course somewhat dangerous uh, and it's really not possible to practice them full speed, full power unless you have absolute confidence and trust in your partner. We've been, we've been watching people doing all code and Thank you very much. So despite what it may seem like, in fact, the best of friends is a tent, no harm is coming to students in the Next, we are going to show you some of our free fighting. So we call this randori. And we do this as an essential part of our practice, alongside all the other stuff we have and we'll see today. So we have basic techniques, we have set forms, we have this kind of practice we call Embu, and also free fighting. We do this in a spirit, really, of cooperation. Mostly, we actually don't have competitions because we don't feel that it really promotes the right kind of attitude. And people will often develop the wrong mindset and all only focus on winning. However, we do think it's important to have uh, a chance for people to, to uh, see how good they are, to check their skills and their achievements against other people, and also to help each other learn. So we'll have uh, a couple of pairs, first of all, and um, this bout of sparring as well will be moderated by a referee. This allows us to really make sure that the exercise is completely safe and that people don't get carried away and that scores and points are allocated fairly. So the first two guys we're going to have um, are some brown belts. These guys have been practicing for a few years um, and they're going to have a little bit of uh, protection but not so much, no headgear, no gloves. So they have to exercise restraint and at the same time try their best.
Thank you very much, guys. The next pair are going to have uh, slightly more senior students, and they're going to have a little bit more protection here. So they've got head guards. And you'll see these special double skin body protectors. These are both specially designed for syringe Kempo, and they allow the impact to be completely absorbed from quite hard blows, so they are an additional level of safety for us. At the same time, again, the participants must keep control at all times. You saw in the earlier bout that uh, the referee said that actually had to stop them when they started too soon. So, next bout. Demonstration. That's a pair form demonstration, but this time with a weapon. So Shirinji Kempo does not use weapons on the whole. However, we do have selected use of some of the weapons that were used by, shall I say, implements used by Buddhist monks. Um, Shirinji Kempo, as I've told you, has its roots in Zen Buddhism, and monks were not allowed to have any kind of uh, lethal weapon with them. But they were allowed to protect themselves, bandits or the like, and the long staff, the Shakucho, is one of these implements. We have others as well, the short staff, the Nyoi. Um, the Shakucho itself is one of our uh, more advanced practices. And today you'll see uh, Ben and Will with a Shakucho Embu.
uh, demonstration we're going to see is more of a self-defense focused demonstration and one also that will illustrate the principle of defense against multiple attackers. In this case we'll have three attackers and they'll each be armed with a short stick of truncheon. And um, we will show you some of the, the techniques that we use and also some of the tactics and tactical thinking that can help us maximize our chances in what would be, let's face it, a pretty scary confrontation. Okay, so defending yourself against multiple opponents is no easy task, uh, but there is still possible and there are various things that you should keep in mind. First rule is to keep everybody in your field of vision. Try not to let anybody out of your sight and uh, get behind you. And if possible, get behind them. Also, if your opponent attacks, you don't want them to get up from the floor and continue the attack. So be conclusive with your uh, attacks. Make sure that they don't get up to continue the fight against you. Use different opponents as shields against other members of the attackers. So use somebody as a shield or a missile. Be as quick as you can as well. Nobody is going to wait for you to perfect your technique, so be as quick and as conclusive as you can when you're defending yourself against multiple opponents. Okay, we'll see. Run through one more time full speed. Okay, next uh, we'll see another Kumian boot, pair form and boot. This will be performed by Dan, Sandan, and Martin Yonga. Yeah, this 
So to complete our demonstration today, we'll just have a short single form staff demonstration by Sensei Mizuno, 8th Dan Chief Instructor of the British Shirinji Kempo Federation. Yeah. <laughs> 